main rotors on as yet and the tail is not fitted in yet. As you can see the rest of the aircraft is fairly complete, the mechanics are in, although at this point in time not actually bolted into the other side. Uh, in case anyone's asking, it's a Heli Artist Airwolf, the one that comes in the wonderfully deep blue metallic colour. It really is a very pretty aircraft and very nicely done. This is the module that I've been preparing, which is going to plug into a female Dean socket on the underside of the aircraft. As you can see at the moment, it's still in a fairly crude stage, but you can see the basic concept behind it. You can see this is a male Dean's connector, and I have used a piece of brass strip which I've soldered across both terminals on the inside. This obviously makes the connection for the live wire of the main power feed from the battery. This goes in before the battery and uh, between the battery and the actual escape. Uh, this will be obviously polished up and uh, made to look prettier, but the basic concept is this is a bit look like a bit of um, external ordnance or external equipment that's hanging down underneath the aircraft when in flight, and I have chosen to position this just on the inside of the port wheel, so it's very easy to get to in the event of uh, you want to kill everything very quickly. Okay, the aircraft is now tipped on its side and nodes, and you can see it's pretty standard underneath there. There's four square holes there for mounting the mechanics into it. As you can see, they are actually slots, which allows me to move it incrementally sideways to get it exactly sensed in the fuselage. The important part, of course, of here is the positioning of this little magic socket, and you will see this in close-up right now. Okay, here's the socket in its uh, original, or its first incarnation. Um, it hasn't been painted yet to match the uh, underbelly of the aircraft, but as you can see, it's a female Dean socket which is fitting almost flush, and it will fit flush when I'm finished, with the underside of the aircraft. The obvious answer here is that the male plug I showed you earlier is just inserted into that female. It looks like a bit of external armament um, or munitions, but in fact it's the safety one because you just pick it up under the port wheel, put your hand underneath there and just pull the Deans out and the battery connection is dead so the aircraft is then totally safe to be handled in the event of obviously a crash or the thing is screaming uncontrollably you haven't got to go into the cockpit and try and fight all the wires in there while the rotors are still spinning in your face. Almost finished job now. Uh, the armaments pod stroke safety switch is inserted into the Dean's plug uh, under the fuselage, under inside the, uh, the port skid, or outside the port skid now, I've taken the wheels off and put skids on. Um, all I've now got to do when I get the PVA is to build up the, uh, the ramp around the female so that it's lying flush inside a small um, bubble on the underside and that will be it. And if I can try very slowly I'll show you how easily I can actually take it in and out if I can manage it. Hold the aircraft, skid and just pull and she's out are in, just up there, check underneath and push. And that's as easy as it gets. So I hope guys that this has helped you out. That's it. One external ordnance pod and or safety switch for electric choppers. Hope this gives other people some ideas, maybe some better ideas than mine, but uh, at least I can turn the aircraft off totally really fast.